It is the 19th of the 8th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off on Scott.net tonight. Alaska's mysterious floating orange goo identified as rusting fungal spores, but local Eskimos fears, fear fish will be poisoned. Now the scientists that studied this thing that originally thought it might be some eggs and mutated things saying that this is a, a fungal spores that produce rust and that explains the color and uh, this still is um, a species they have not seen before um, so things are still kind of up in the open there but they're they're telling the Eskimos not to panic uh, but definitely filter the water overnight storms hail pound in northwestern Minnesota and the storms in the the northern central United States continue. You got to remember we have these uh, major dams up here that are flooding in the Missouri Valley area, and uh, these this just the way the the heat bubbles parked right on top of us. That these storms are just dumping water over and over and over again. And I'm on the northern edge of this, and uh, we are having it quite mild right now um, as far as the heat goes. But uh, we're definitely getting the thunderstorms rolling through just uh, west of me. We got another Haboob storm envelops Phoenix and downs power lines. Now this one was so strong it ripped through and uh, ripped up a bunch of power lines and some live wires fell on a bus full of school kids. Uh, it took them about four hours to get them out of there. Um, just chaos. This seems to be like the third big Haboob they've had in two months, and uh, their season is ongoing. Uh, got a 6.3 official earthquake off the east coast of uh, Honshu, Japan. Again, this is in the Fukushima district area. Um, ongoing situation with the nuclear power plant there, and I, I definitely cover that on my other videos. California exclusive look at deadly sinkhole in Bakersfield. And uh, the oil wells in Bakersfield, they're, they're saying they're injecting steam into this wells and it caused a big upswelling. Uh, one of the workers died checking it out and uh, they shut down all the, the steam injections um, around this well for safety reasons. Ontario, Canada sinkhole opens on Bronson near Charlton University. And they're not they're saying uh, they don't know how long it's going to take to repair this thing um, again it's in a major commute way Michigan three people escaped massive sinkhole uh, Detroit police have blocked off an area that, on the city's east side because of massive sinkhole uh, that definitely swallowed up an SUV and it looks like a neighborhood area I got a 3.2 earthquake in Long Beach in Los Angeles California uh, that definitely got some people's attention. Indonesia's Mount Lokan erupts again, and there's some pretty good photos out of that. And again, Indonesia is a very active region in the Ring of Fire. Um, multiple volcanoes active at any one given time. Over to the extinction protocol, thyroid radiation exposure found on children near TEPCO plant. And these are being found, um, what was this one, 60 kilometers away to the south. Uh, the situation's just ongoing and they can't cover it up um, any more than it, it's, the, the truth is getting out there on Japan and, and uh, definitely what's happening to us around the world. Double 6.0 earthquake strikes off the coast of Japan and Fiji. Violent cloudburst storm kills five in Belgium. Uh, apparently they had a big rock concert going out. Lost two stages this time due to this freak weather that came in ten minutes later. Uh, dropped stages, down trees, lots of people hurt. Um, just another crisis ongoing. The concert scene just doesn't seem to be cutting a break this year at all. And more than a month's rain falls on parts of the United Kingdom kingdom in just six hours. Uh, London flash floods caused chaos yesterday as a fortnight's rain fell on just half an hour in some areas. Surges of waist-high water in Dorset forced shopkeepers to flee submerged stores and motorists to abandon their vehicles as towns were brought to a standstill for several hours. 
Triple terror attack deepens crisis in the Middle East. Now this is ongoing in Israel. They've got this tit for tat starting up, and uh, here we go. They are gearing us up for the big Syrian Israeli bullshit. Conditions morph on solar surface for potentially damaging CME blast uh, admitted from the sun. Uh, we're heading into solar maximum. Uh, the sun's gearing up, and there are a few sp sunspots uh, putting on quite a little show right now. Uh, debt wars, IMF, and international banking policies, a root cause behind social chaos. No kidding. All according to plan, folks. All according to plan. Solar system-wide weather crash. Swarm the size of Texas engulfs Saturn's moon. Uh, Titan is making news again, this time with the Cassini images from 2010 showing a storm nearly as big as Texas. And uh, the cool thing about this storm is it's in the shape of an arrow, so uh, I'll provide the links below. It's pretty cool. Brain-eating amoeba claims third victim. Uh, this is out of Atlanta, Georgia. Two children and a young man have died this summer from a brain-eating amoeba that lives in the water, health official says. Uh, due to the hot situation in the hot water, these amoebas uh, definitely flourish more than you. I remember being warned as a kid growing up in Florida about these brain-eating amoebas. And uh, be careful where I go swimming and that kind of thing. So, but I swam anyway. Over to the RSOE. We've got a few things going on. Uh, flash floods out of Turkey, the Black Sea District. They're saying it's the worst storm in 50 years. Uh, the entire town shut down. Um, lots of going on there. Uh, big fire in Spain, uh, the region of Murcia. Uh, anyway, there's a big fire. It's about 8, 10, 12 miles wide, and thousands of people have had to flee, and, and uh, they're still ongoing battling. They're saying that parts of this are just total burnt to the ground. Flash flooding in the Philippines, of course it's their monsoon season, there's um, things that keep continually going on. Forest fires in the state of Oregon between uh, Gold Hill and Rogue River, got some more forest fires going on there. Big hailstorm, uh, Omaha, Nebraska, an airport got shut down, they had to inspect uh, these airplanes, a pilot got hurt, baseball size plus hail uh, pounded the area and uh, all the fun things that that entails. Flash flooding, of course, out of uh, Berkshire, Berkshire Wild, Wide England, and this is going into the Belgium story. Uh, what else, what else, what else? And the last thing I want to leave you tonight is, it's um, this is off uh, geologynews.com, um, darkest known exoplanet is blacker than coal. Now this is according to the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for uh, Astrophysics uh, press release. Astronomers have discovered the darkest known exoplanet, a distant Jupiter-sized gas giant known as Tres 2b. Their measurements show that Tres 2b reflects less than 1% of sunlight f falling on it, making it blacker than coal or any planet or moon in our solar system, quoted from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. And, uh, of course, I'm going to provide the link below for that. Um, that ongoing with uh, the, the dark star, the brown, the brown dwarf theory. Um, here we go. We, we now have discovered um, this exoplanet that is darker than any other planet we've ever discovered before. Um, so, just poof right out of nowhere. Enjoy what you can. Uh, thanks for all your help, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.